You know what you should do? You should take a picture soon. Good afternoon, Mega Video. Welcome back to the Loopy and Oni Show. I am Loopy. This is Oni. Today we. <laughs> Today. <laughs> you cracked me up, dude. Not that I can see. So, anyways, today we are ranting about the evils of religion. Um, most of it you heard in a couple of other videos we did, like how Christianity will split us up, whereas when we're metalheads, we stick together. Um, religion isn't always a good thing, especially Muslim if you're an extremist. <laughs> But only if you're an extremist. So all those Muslim extremists may want to shut this video off now. Don't you agree, Annie? Yes. So I thought. <laughs> um. All right. So I said my bit. What do you want to say? You say. You say more first. <laughs> I, want to hear, I just want to hear your opinion on the way things are taken in this country because. It's kind of like a hypocrisy I've seen, like with Senator Palin and what not going on now. I just want to hear your opinion about what's going on in the world, that people are going to protest it for stupid shit, but then the ones on their side, when they do something wrong, there is, you know, like this big backlash. There isn't a backlash for them. Yeah, which is kind of stupid if you ask me. Because, you know how, um, I found, I found this out a little while ago, um, Obama not only refuses to say the Pledge of Allegiance, but he won't even put his hand over his heart during it, which I really don't think is a good reason for, is it, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, do you really want somebody like that as president? Yeah, but at the same time, you have to understand that he's an atheist. I, he, I think he was, he just went to church with Reverend Wright, idiot. Reverend Wright, f just for like his family's sake, but I think personally he's an atheist. Obviously, if he wants abortion legal and gay marriage, he has to be an atheist. But um, I don't know. I never heard that rumor. I heard always heard all the things. Always oh, a Muslim is this, is that. But I think John McCain is a lot more dangerous than Obama in this country. Judging by what he was saying, he made himself look like a psychopath on the presidential debate. And something I wanted to talk about right now that really got underneath my skin the past week is. That I was watching CNN, and I heard there was a ministers' conference in California. I was like, "What the fuck?" And then I realized that um, it was about how they were banding together. Look, we are in an economic crisis in this country, and they're more concerned about trying to get gay marriage illegal in their state and across the country than how does that work out? Then to worry about oh, we have a seven hundred billion dollar you know, uh, what do you call it, bailout deal that didn't get passed and, you know, all this other bullshit. But they have to prioritize prior, uh, prioritize a little more, like the better, it's like bullshit. And we have a separation of church and state, which obviously isn't doesn't work anymore if they can get what they want like they do now. Yeah, um, yeah church and state should have really been left uh, behind back during the time of the Revolutionary War, don't you think? I think that that was the whole reason that they came to this country. I don't understand why the Puritans did what they did so much, like with the witch trials and this and that, but it's just because of religion is their fault, that this country is in part of their fault, why this country is in the place it is today while we're not unified as a country. Not just Christianity, I'm talking about Mormons and, you know, Jews, um, Muslims, Catholics, everything. All of the... Not the only religion I can honestly say there are only two religions in this country that don't say a word about anything that are just mellow. And they are Satanists and Buddhists. The only two people that know how to shut up in this country when it comes to religion. Um. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart here. <laughs> I'm very profound when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> so I've learned. And don't forget to go and buy up my book, The Christian Deception. It'll be out in a few years. <laughs> I'm done writing 
<laughs> He's actually writing a book on this. Is it anything like the Da Vinci Code? Nothing like it. I, you know what I base it off of? There's a son of a bitch called John Hagee. He's a preacher in Texas. I, uh, I remember him being mentioned by you, really, in um, Attack of the Metalheads. You said he screwed around with Harry Potter and Marilyn Manson? Yes. He, um... What was I talking about? Hagee. John Hagee, um... Well, no, what, what, what was the subject we were talking about before that? Right, right before I started talking about John Hagee. Uh... You had to ask me. Yes. We were talking about, um... The Christian Deception. The Christian Deception, thank you. Um, he wrote a book, The Son of a Bitch, Fat Son of a Bitch, I hate him so much, I hope he dies, um, very slowly, and I hope his children watch him die, um, about the Da Vinci Deception, and people made, in his church, he made so much money off those, but not just him, but so many pre televangelists made a lot of money off the Da Vinci Code complaining about how, you know, Blasphemous and stuff it was, but idiots. You know, I can actually pull up the Da Vinci Code right now. Give me a couple seconds. You see this, John Hagee? One of the best books ever made. And I don't give a crap what you say. Neither do I. You're a fucking cunt. I'll be die. I hope you. I hope you burn in hell right next to Ti. <laughs> hell's his name um Justin him too um did you get a name from that um uh gay anti anti-gay marriage pro uh uh televangelist who is uh, in love with a male prostitute and is addicted to meth <laughs> <laughs> no i can't remember to save my life actually damn you know what i can do i can i can find out and i'll tell you guys next next time we have a we do a show about religion. I can tell you guys what his name was, but I found it hilarious. And it's not, you know, the the the, the prostitute wasn't even attractive. And, well, well, I should say to be fair, he wasn't either. But still, he's a hypocrite. Yeah. Um. Which brings back, which brings to my mind a verse from the Bible. I think it's in the Red Words, one of the Gospels. Um. If you're gonna remove the speck of wood in the in your brother's eye, first remove the plank in your own. <laughs> yes, I read the Bible. Don't f with me, okay? I think that was in John. I remember Jesus saying something about. That. Yes, I've read the Bible. The Antichrist, Prince of Darkness, Angel of Death, has re has read the Bible several times. Just so he knows who he's screwing with, J and that's it. Am I right? Yes, that's what I thought. Because I remember you saying that to me a couple of times, um, like in like the second episode, like. One of, the re one of the re-recordings of the second episode. I don't even remember when it was. But, yeah. The only reason he had the Bible is just so he knows who he's messing with. And he is messing with a pretty big power. But I think he can win. Of course I can. <laughs> As he burps. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, in this country, what we're going to need to do... When, if I, I was... Actually, th I've never told you this. Thinking about running for president. Did I mention that to you? No, you did not. What, what's going to be your platform? I was actually about unification, and I would eliminate, I would break the thumb of the church off of, off of the country, because I think they have entirely too much influence and too much power, and that undermines and destroys everything that, you know, this country stands for. And it, um, kind of bring back the, um, separation of church and state. What exactly would you unify us under? Is there, like, any particular theme besides Satanism? No, not even religion at all. Just the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the American flag. That's all we need. We don't need, you know, the fucking Pope coming here or, you know, this person and that person. We don't need John Hagee telling us what to do. We just need a president to do what the president does, which is just follow the law and help, you know, pros bills and veto bills if it's necessary. And just do what needs to be done for the country, not for special interest groups, not for lobbyists. And that's all I have to say. Yeah on this particular subject. Next episode will be titled A New Theory 
and it will be coming out as soon as I can possibly get my internet back up. So, for the Prince of Darkness, this is Loopy, signing off. Bye-bye.